the weekend, I had a really fun idea of making a Minecraft VTubing model um, that would be fully facial tracked. And um, here it is, people on Twitter and people who love Minecraft. This is a Minecraft VTubing model that I made that is compatible with Minecraft skins. So if you have a Minecraft skin that's based on Minecraft Steve or Minecraft Alex, it'll be fully compatible. You can just pop the texture on and swap it. It'll be easy as that. Isn't that great? Anyways, hope you enjoyed this. See you later. And, and let's just say the reception kind of blew me away. So uh, let's, let's talk about it. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Hi, this is the Minecraft VTubing model. This is gonna be available in two different versions. The slim arm slash Alex version and the full arm or Steve version. One thing to note about these models is I wanted to keep them very true to form to the, a Minecraft style um, model. So there is gonna be no elbow movement. So basically it's all upper arm movement and <laughs> upper leg movement. If you stick to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can replace the textures on these models. And if you're interested in buying these models, links are gonna be um, in the description somewhere. And what's really great is that they are compatible with regular Minecraft skins. And you don't even need to have high resolution skins. Normal resolution skins will work and it'll make the models look great. Oh, and before any of you ask, is it compatible with two layer skins? Right now they are not. However, in the future, I will be updating them. Uh, you'll get an update notification from the store saying that I've updated it. So um, full disclosure, this is actually a model that from the beginning intended to sell on the VTubing avatar site called Booth. And the link for that is gonna be in the description down below. Essentially with this Minecraft model, you can get any of your Minecraft skins and you'll be able to load them onto this model. Um, for right now, it's only gonna be compatible with Steve and Alex based models. Um, in the future, I'm gonna be adding a new version that's gonna be supporting um, different face styles because these models are modeled 100% from scratch. Right now, layering is not supported. So if you have like an avatar skin that has a second layer, Right now it's not supported. It's something that I plan to add in the future. And so um, it, it basically for anyone that ends up buying this model, you'll receive an update um, later down the line when I figure out how to do that. Let me show you the models. This is the Steve or um, the full arm version VTuber model that is um, fully facial tracked using the Apple AR kit. So you need to have an iPhone X or higher. Basically you need a phone or iPad with face ID. And this has full facial tracking that allows you to do things like this for cheek puff, winking, and um, full facial capture. This is using a webcam and an iPhone at the same time. If you wanted to be able to track your hands, uh, you can use a leap motion, um, just like this. This is the Slim Armor Alex version that also has full facial tracking. I was also requiring an iPhone with face ID and a webcam to track your body. And it's also, you can use a leap motion with it as well to have arm movement. And you could do things like, um, it fully tracks your mouth, your eyes, your eyebrows, and um, your tongue. Both the full arm and the slim arm version are similar. This is the full arm version that is using the webcam version that doesn't have full facial tracking. So how it tracks your lips is through uh, your microphone. And then it also has a uh, blink detection as well. And it comes with a bunch of settings that you're gonna, it's gonna come with a bunch of expressions that you can activate with hotkeys that you see on the screen. This is also the slim arm version for webcam that has the same features. And you can see the expressions appearing that you can activate on screen uh, via, uh, hotkeys and then we also have a, a flat face version as well just in case you have a, a different kind of minecraft skin for both variants that you have right here uh, and what's nice about these ones as well is that you can still use um, elite motion to track your arms if you need to track your arms 
now that we're near the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to change the skin on the model. The first thing you need to do in order to get started using um, the VTuber model, if you want to just try it out, is uh, you need to get this program right here called VC Face. So the link for that in the description is going to be down below. And once you have VC Face open, you'll, you'll see a screen just like this, and it's going to bring you through a whole tutorial on how to set it up. Please don't skip that. If you manage to skip it, you can go to the help button and it's going to show you how to do everything once again in order to get your model set up. If you get the Apple AR kit version that is compatible with all iPhones that have Face ID, so generally 10 and up, or iPad Pros, I have this video that's going to be appearing on the screen that's going to be showing you how you can uh, actually connect your um, Minecraft model to VC Face. If you just have the regular webcam version, um, just following the VC face instructions will be enough. Let's get started on how to change your skin on your model. You're going to need something called Unity. So uh, I'm going to put the links for this in the description down below. Now you don't need to pay for the actual version. I have the, uh, since I live in Korea right now, um, I have the Korean version, but you can just download and install Unity Hub from the link in, that'll be in the description down below and you can get the, the free personal version. Once you have Unity Hub downloaded and installed, what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the installs tab and you're going to be adding a specific version of Unity. You're going to go to add and then it's not going to be the version is not going to be here, the version that you want. So you're going to be going to the download archive and it's going to open a new window like this. And uh, you're going to go to 2019. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be downloading 2019 416 that you're seeing right here. Download and it's, if you click on the green button to open in Unity Hub, it'll open in Unity Hub for you. It'll take some time to download and install. Once it's successfully downloaded, you're going to see it in your installs right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your projects tab and then you're going to go to new. Um, if you're going to, it's best to select the drop down menu and then select the version of Unity that you're going to be using right here. So you're going to select a 3D project and we're going to make a brand new project. So you should name this project like my, my, uh, my MC model. And now you have Unity open. So before you bring your model in, you're going to need uh, one plugin called Uni VRM. I've actually covered uh, extensively on how to use Uni VRM, mainly to convert your models to a VRM format in the video that's going to be popping up on the screen. However, since the model that you're going to be buying, uh, it's only, it's already in a VRM format, so you don't need to worry about that. So you're going to go to the Uni VRM website. It's going to be like a GitHub, just like this. Links will be in the descriptions down below. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to releases, this releases tab, and then you're going to press download. And then you're going to download the Uni VRM Unity package, and you're going to download it like, like, like this. Now, once it's finished fully downloading, you can either um, find it um, where it is downloaded or you can do what I do. And I just like to click and drag it from the Chrome window into the assets window in Unity, just like I'm doing right now on the screen. And then you're going to get a window that pops up like this. That's going to say, we're going to be importing all this stuff. Just make sure all the boxes are checked and press import. And then you might get a new window like this and just press accept all. Um, you're also going to be needing a Minecraft skin. So just make sure that you have um, one of the newer 1.8 skins. As I mentioned before, the layers aren't supported yet, but you'll get an update for it later when I figure out how to do it. And then you just import your Minecraft skin, just like how I did right here. It's not going to work if you don't have one of the newer layouts for the skins. Next, you're going to need one of the models that you did, that you got from the store. In this case, I'm going to be using um, one of the Alex variants, but I'm going to use one of the ones with, uh, the, without, without the face that we're going to see right here. So you're just going to click and drag that into the assets folder, just like how you imported the Unity package. And you'll know it's done once you get a whole bunch of stuff right here and you're going to see your avatar. So you can click and drag this into the screen just like this. And then you're going to see in the inspector on the side, uh, you're going to see your transform. You're going to press zero on all X, Y, and Z. And then you can use the WSAD keys and your mouse to move around just to see what the model is going to look like. Over here in the hierarchy, you're going to see your avatar that's right here. And then you're going to see uh, if you click in the drop down menu and you press on the body, uh, you'll have access to the shader that's right here in the inspector. So just Click down and expand it. And then here you're going to see your texture. So you have two options to do it. One, you can press this, um, the plus sign that's next to it. And you can select your skin from there. 
or you can click and drag it in there. So you wanna make sure that you click and drag it into the lit color alpha and the shade. Once you finish changing your skin, click on the your model in the hierarchy, just like this, and then go to VRM zero. And then you're going to export VRM. Here is where you can change your thumbnail or your picture. I'm just going to be keeping this the same. And then uh, you're going to be choosing where you want to export it. Now in VC face, if you want to be adding this avatar, you go to avatar selection, you go to add avatar, and then you locate your avatar just like this. And your avatar should appear in um, the new in your avatar selection window like this. And then uh, make sure that you choose your webcam or if you're using like VR tracking like I am, just press start. And then here is your model that's fully loaded in here. So since we're using the, there's not gonna be any face or eye blinking, but you get a fully tracked VTubing model that you can use. And that's how you change the skins on your model. Once again, keep in mind that it has to be a 1.8 later skin or newer. If you try to use one of the old style skins, it's not gonna work. This is my first model that ever I, I've ever made to put out there just um, in my store, just without a free option. So thank you everyone so much for your support. I, I really appreciate it. And like I said, all the links for everything is gonna be down in the description below.